Well, now we turn to a story that is a bit controversial within parts of the Asian community. TV host Julie Chen made headlines earlier this fall when she revealed a secret with a racial undertone. Chen had eyelid surgery to make her eyes look more wide open. Well, tonight, Kathy Park has a closer look at the issue and the reasons why some are taking this bold step. In America, blepharoplasty or eyelid surgery is a top cosmetic procedure among Asians. 19-year-old Esther Oak wants it done this year. It just um, helps me feel more comfortable. TV personality Julie Chen said she also went for the permanent look earlier in her career after she said her former boss made hurtful comments about her eyes, a decision that struck a nerve with D.C. resident Justine Chen. I think she's a great, you know, role model in terms of professionally, but I have, you know, mixed feelings about her. The surgery reshapes the skin around the eye with incisions or sutures to create a defined crease on the upper lid. A lot of uh, Asians have more fat in this area, in the middle compartment. For about $4,000, two hours in surgery, and usually a week of recovery, here's the result. It's still, you know, a huge point of contention of like, you know, did you get it done, did you not? You know, what does it say about you and how you think about yourself or how you think of your own, your own race? Justine and I haven't had the surgery, and being Asian American, we're used to conversations about it, some more direct than others. In fact, a couple of months ago, I received this tweet from a stranger who suggested in Korean I should also look into the procedure. Once dubbed the westernization of the eyelid, doctors say the procedure has evolved. No one comes in and says, oh, I want to look um, more American or, or I want to blend in better. Plastic surgeon Dr. Suzanne dowd Galley says most of her patients want this for cosmetic reasons. They just want to um, accentuate what they already have. A slight but controversial change that doesn't have everyone seeing eye to eye. Kathy Park, ABC 7 News.